How's it going everyone? My name is Michael Luske and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 2. I don't really remember what happened in the last episode other than that we are collectively, all of us, all of us viewers, we, we all agreed on this, are going to stan Shion or Mion or whoever, but who, who knows whether they're one person or not. It sort of leans on the fact that they might be, but it's hard to say. And there's supposed to be some sort of, like, dessert thing going on, or something along those lines. It's been a little bit since I last recorded. I've been busy, I've been recording other shit. You know, the, the normal excuses that I tend to give off here. I might have explained this before, but... Physical education at our school is really just an exercise in disorder. After some random warm-ups, the rest of the time is spent doing whatever. You're free to cause a ruckus or just fall asleep? I don't know. Why does it feel like that we've gone through this already? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. I totally forgot. Here, we'll uh we'll save it up here. Yeah, you know what? I think I think we're caught up. Hold up. We need to go back to the main menu. I forgot that there was a tip that I completely missed, or, or I guess just neglected to look at, or something along those lines. So we need to view tips, and it's somewhere in here. I don't know where. Uh, okay, we've done that one. That, yeah, have we done this? It was delicious. I'm pretty sure we have done that one. Okay, a tip unlocked, and I'm just not seeing it. I swear that we unlocked a tip on, like... I, I think it was supposed to cover the hooligans that we had to deal with or some shit. I don't think it's in Chapter Jump. Uh, I, I I don't think that's the, uh, the case here. Is my game just bugged? Am I not allowed to look at this one tip? Because, I like, I, I can see all the pages here, but I can't... I can't see the tip. Oh well. I tried. Maybe it's nothing too important. I don't know. I still would have liked to see it. Okay. Now we can jump back in. I agree. Come to think of it, they might be right. If we all lined up for a race, there was a good chance I'd finish dead last if I didn't start off well. Let's just pray that when a brutal penalty game is at stake, the 100 meter dash isn't a club activity. As I begin to sprawl out on top of a pile, Mion grabbed me by the collar. Why does this seem so fucking familiar? It's like we've already gone through this. Good grief. Which means, is it gonna start again? Now that this is happening, taking a nap is impossible. Not just that, with this sleep-deprived head of mine, I'm as good as mincemeat. I have to get my brain into gear. <laughs> she began to announce the cruel penalty game with a grand spinning flourish. But before she could do that... We have fucking done this! We have done this exact scenario! This is... What the fuck is happening? 
We've done this shit. I swear we have. Why the fuck? This makes zero sense. I'm pretty sure we've done this shit. What fucking chapter are we in? Can I skip this? I can, because we've done this shit. Why are we doing this shit again? What has happened to my game? Yeah, I, I remember all of this. I have no idea what's happening. Did I accidentally just launch into the wrong chapter somehow? Okay, I, I don't even know where the fuck we're supposed to be. I have zero idea what is happening. What the fuck? Because we spent that... What the f We spent... Okay, you know what? I, I don't know where this is supposed to be taking place. That was the food thing. This may have been it, maybe. I don't know. Let's skip forward a little bit, I guess, and we'll see where this brings us. Okay, yeah, this is where we meet the fucking hooligans. We're just going through all this shit again. Why? What the fuck has happened with my shit, man? Like, the game knows that I've gone through this. Yet, here we are going through it again? Okay, well, this was what happened in the last episode. I'm pretty sure. Meaning we should be reaching the end of a chapter, like, around here. There's the phone call. Yeah, there it is. And now I got the achievement mob mentality. And now I can view the tip. What the hell just happened? I've I've never had that happen to me. So, hold up. If we go back to the previous episode and we watch the end, will it will it show me jumping into whatever this scenario was that we just did all over again? It like repeated an entire like section of the game. I have no idea why. Or at least I got this right. The three people rub their arms painfully. Kuma Gaikun, or Kuma Gai, yeah, whatever, have been have been squeezing them pretty tightly. <laughs> <laughs> they plunked down onto the reception sofa, and despite not yelling anymore, they still had dangerous expressions. Eh, what I'd give to be young again. The fuck kind of noise was that? As he downed the beer with glee, the three people exchanged glances, then finally reached out of their or out for their cans. They hadn't stopped being cautious. It was more like they didn't see a reason to refuse. They each opened their cans and began to drink the contents. <laughs> they looked at each other again, suspicious of whether they should tell him. Sorry, I keep on skipping a little bit of the lines here. I keep on guessing wrong as to when they're done talking. I believe it. They seem to recall the thrilling event from earlier. While they could understand getting surrounded by students or a gang or something along those lines, they would never have been surrounded by locals both young and old, both men and women before. It was easy to imagine how scared they must have been. Yeah, 
あ子供の喧嘩に親は出てくるな、なんてもんじゃない。一人をいじめたら、それこそ村中が総取りやってきますよ。いや、ほんと、脅しでもなんでもなく。They couldn't argue against that. They themselves had been surrounded. They'd seen it with their own eyes. There was no doubt about it. ここいらじゃねえ。ひなみざの人間に睨まれたら、あっさり鬼隠しにやって消えちまうんです。Now there's that demon to weigh shit. Oh, a to kata mo nak kotsuzen to. Oni san gata, yukue fumei ni nat tara dari ka sou saki negai o dashite kure ru gokazoku wa imasu? Inai nara mazi na. Jou hatsu atsukai desu yo. <laughs> Even then, we got there soon enough that nothing happened. If we'd been late, things could have taken a turn for the worse. If they'd been forced into an alleyway, these young men wouldn't be sitting on a couch right now. They might be lying on an autopsy table. Well, probably not. Anyway, perhaps they'd be a little more cooperative if we'd found them as corpses. あんたらのこのことバイクを取りに戻ったら、今度こそ袋叩きに会いますよ。な、なんだよそれ上等じゃねえかな Well, I wasn't ready to skip to the next line there either. Damn, I'm rusty. Calm down, calm down. Why are young people these days so quick to, with the shouting? I know I am. あんたらももう面倒ごとはごめんでしょう。バイクのナンバー教えてください。ここまで持ってきてあげますから。ごまちゃん、交通課対策にゲート車を借りてきてください。えっせ、別にいいよ。自分たちで取りに行くからいいって。あんたら本気で囲まれたいんですか。今度は警察、間に合わないかもしれませんよ。ああ、大丈夫だっつったんだろ。囲み上等だおい、oh. お兄さん方あんたら今泡の出る麦茶飲んだろうエンジンかけてみろその場で飲酒取るぞこらき、きたね警察が税金使って兄さん方のバイクを運びして死んぜよって言ってんだよごちゃごちゃ言わねえでナンバー言ってんだこのクソバカ野郎 Holy shit The three were hesitant to tell him the numbers. They were mumbling something along the lines of not remembering them since they just bought the bikes. Well, that's what I thought. Ha. Kuma chan, get to shani doko shte bike mutte kita agete. Go tsui yakai yats to tel lamp no mini gawa ga waretta yats. Ato sheet ni gamute hatte atta shiroi yats. Sore daro. Nii san tachi no bike. They didn't answer. Those must be the right ones. Oi, sir! Gate is here, so I'm going to go. Hi, hi, I'm going to go. And I'm going to go. What's that? I'm going to go. 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 The three people's faces changed color. They made themselves very easy to understand. バイク戻ってくるまでのんびりしてましょうよ。ビールもっとありますよ。乾き物だってありますし。テレビ見ますろくなのやってませんけどね。いいよ。俺たちもう行くから。こんなとこにいつまでもいたくねえよ。Suddenly, there were five or six huge officers surrounding them. Their clearly overpowering stares nailed them to the sofa. な、なんだよ。Going on a trip by stealing motorcycles, huh? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Students these days have too much time on their hands. I was kind of thinking that they stole them. If they were that hesitant, scared, and all that, it had to make some sense. Alrighty. Can we jump into the game and actually continue now? You know, now that like 15 minutes have gone by. And a lot of it, we were just kind of stuck in a previous chapter that we had already continued. It'll let me continue, right? It's kind of looking like it. 
I knew we wouldn't be doing any club activities after school today before Mion even said anything. I've been in invited over by Shion. Ooh. Oh, that's right. The all-you-can-eat dessert. Never mind. I made a point of leaving half my lunch uneaten. My uh, my expectations would only be rivaled by my hunger. I guess it was obvious. Rena had questioned me with a happy look. That's right, why don't I invite Rena for the dessert as well? No, if I recall correctly. Excuse me, Shion said something about having a ticket. At worst, the restaurant might be admission by ticket only today. If that was the case, then Rena, or then having Rena be turned away at the door would result in the worst feeling ever. <laughs> Cute? Uh, I wonder what Rena would think of the uniforms at Angel Mort. They'd definitely be a critical hit. どんな幸運に恵まれたのやら。あれ？ひょっとして二月くらい前にエンジェルモートで三角くじとか引いた？それに当たった？おいおい、俺は二月前にはまだ転校してなくてないぞ。あ、そっか。じゃあエンジェル
Even the chirping of the cicadas seemed joyful. Rena abruptly stopped spinning. Her expression had returned to a more somber one. Huh? The pain that Rena was talking about probably wasn't physical. だんだん晴れてきた。人事晴れてきた。とうとう痛みがこらえられなくなって。夜中に目を覚ました。そしてレナに電話してきたの。みーちゃんは泣いてた。ご、ごめん。それ何の話だよ。何の話？え？レナは
I knew that I shouldn't laugh, but I began to let out a sinister cackle. チケットのお客様のみの貸し切りになっておりますチケットと the mood inside the room was incredibly heated. The booths were packed to the brim. Men in their prime were stuffing their faces with dainty desserts that didn't suit them at all. It was a rather unnerving spectacle. Soon after I was shown in my seat, Shion arrived. It may have been because other customers were around that her tone was less casual, but she still capped off that welcome with her usual brilliant smile. <laughs> All right. Whispering just that last part into my ear, Shion winked and returned to the kitchen. Maybe it was because of the mood and the restaurant was so heated, but Shion seemed a bit bolder. Even a small change in her mannerisms was enough to set my heart aflutter. And this is why we stand Shion. Absolutely. While I was overwhelmed by the atmosphere inside the restaurant, orders from the new summer menu were carried out one after another. Every single one was extravagantly huge. I get it. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you can eat all these amazing things for free. No wonder a ticket was worth its weight in gold. On top of that, all of it was plenty delicious. From dishes with a general appeal to insane ones aimed at a specific audience, there were absolutely no gaps in their repertoire. It didn't feel relaxing in here at all. Probably because the fervor inside the restaurant was clearly abnormal. All the other booth seats were crammed with groups of four. Sleazy men were gorging like pigs on cutely decorated desserts, and it wouldn't have been a surprise if they started licking the plates. It was more than a little unsettling. I piqued my interest, so I started listening in on their conversation, and what things I heard. God damn it. あ、はあ。ウェイトレスさん、水とかズボンにこうして吹き吹きとかしてくれないかにゃ。大人外数には種類が多すぎるのでごわすな。普通のファミレス制服のフィギュアなら10種類程度でごわすのに。今度のはシークレットポーズサブンコミでざっと100種類。ダブった時は誰かトレードしてもらいたいでおじゃる。
You know, at least the waitress here is honest. The waitress informed me quietly with a wry smile. Well, shit, some, some fucko was just talking about buying their shit off of uh, some auction website for what, like 700 or so dollars? Imagine spending $700 to come here. Sure, it's an all you can eat, but are you really gonna get your money's worth for all that fucking food? And I guess just the atmosphere in general. What did she mean by keep your guard up? At that moment, a large crash resounded through the room. I turned around, startled to see that a waitress had fallen down and spilled the order she was carrying right onto a customer. Wait, isn't that Shion? What the hell is that? For somebody who just met with disaster, he seems awfully happy. The conversation suddenly veered off in an odd direction. Hey, hey, what did he say? Wipey, wipey. Did he want Shion to wipe him down? Right over that obviously apparent tent he had pitched over his crotch? <laughs> My god, imagine going to a fucking public ass restaurant and constantly saying, Wipey, wipey. Wipey, wipey. Wipey wipey chant quickly spread throughout the room. Totally cornered, Shion went pale. She looked over to a more experienced waitress for help, but was only met with a head shaking out of pity. Oh yeah, I know. We, we overheard that fucking conversation. I mean, that's literally what the waitress just said. じゃあ、今のあれも事故じゃなくて恋メインの女の子は十分気をつけてますから、絶対会わならないんですけど、その崎さんは短期バイトだから、まだガードが甘くて、今日のお客様たちにも早々に見破られちゃったみたいで、
And then what? If you're not hesitating, then why aren't you helping her? Well, I guess we'll see if we actually do help her, or if she's going to be touching an otaku's crotch in the next episode. So I don't really know why my game kind of went into a loop in the beginning of this episode, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. Unless I saved incorrectly somehow, I don't really know what happened. I'll have to look at the end of the last episode, but thank you all for watching this one. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.